Not often does a flanker outperform the original. However, Drakkar Noir outperformed Drakkar 10 years later in every way possible. The brand just released a brand new one in 2022 to Drakkar or Drakkar Noir. Let's see if this new Drakkar Intense has the power to succeed. Hello and welcome. I'm Peter from Centrail, and on this channel we talk about fragrances, designer niche, perfumers, so on and so forth. So if you're into fragrances or you just want to smell nice, consider subscribing for more content. And if you get anything out of this video at all, don't forget to leave it a like so I know what you will like in the future. I want to thank you in advance, and now let's get right into our new fragrance for 2022. Guy La Roche was a French fashion designer. Born in July of 1921, this talented designer brought us some really great fragrances. To date, there are about 14 fragrances to the name and some of them have been co-created with the brand L'Oréal. There are only five in the Drakkar lineup. Drakkar, the original 1972, then Drakkar Noir, 1982, the star, and then in 1999, a Drakkar Dynamic, which completely and utterly bombed. And then there is a Drakkar Essence from 2014, still available to purchase today. And this one is sort of a grapefruit, a fresher mint take. And the perfumer behind that one was uh, uh, Michel uh, Girard. And that brings us right to today's star, 2022. Last one was 2014, so a few years ago. And Drakkar Intense, 2022. The original Drakkar had 18 notes. Drakkar Noir had 25 and up. And this new Drakkar Noir Intense, or Drakkar Intense, it's actually not Noir, it's Drakkar Intense, has 11 notes listed. The only notes stretching across all three fragrances at least the Drakkar, the Drakkar Noir, and this new Intense, are bergamot, coriander, rosemary, lavender, patchouli, and oak moss, which is about half the notes in the new fragrance. Remember, we had 11, and bergamot, coriander, rosemary, lavender, patchouli, and oak moss, so that's exactly six. So half of the new fragrance is part of the two older ones. Given by the note breakdown and some of the commonalities between all three fragrances, it's really hard to say whether Drakkar Intense is supposed to be an intense version of Drakkar Noir, or is it supposed to be an intense version of the original Drakkar, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The intense version has three pretty powerful notes in it that are not in the other ones, which is juniper berries, we have some clary sage, and we also have some wormwood. Wormwood is a note that lends flavor to things like absinthe and vermouth. It's a slightly sweet and somewhat bitter note. Also, we have bergamot, and then of course we have some coriander, which is sort of a spicy, soft, slightly sweet, and a peppery nuance, which is the coriander. And you'll also find that there are some juniper berries and lavender right in the middle of this new one. And then finally, the patchouli and the moss. Also the addition of a little bit of suede, and there is a little bit of lavender right at the base, which balance out the fragrance really nicely. This gives you a good idea of what Drakkar Intense, what category it falls in. You know, definitely a Fouchere with some real power, you would think. And yes, Fouchere, or yes to Fouchere, but it's not as big as you would expect. I think that Drakkar Intense is a little bit more on the cozy side of fragrances. There's only sort of hints of the piney greenness, the freshness that you expect from a Fouchere. This masculine fragrance to me has a little bit of a hint of an old school sort of shaving cream with some warmth, barbershop clean, and then it gets kind of cozy as it starts to dry down. I thought it was going to be much stronger, much more powerful, but it is actually quite inoffensive and I think perfectly suited for a day at the office and beyond. It's perhaps a little bit on the mature side, but not because it smells dated. It's more that the opening reminds me a little bit of some days past, but only briefly. Now call me crazy, but to me, this one doesn't smell like Drakkar Noir at all. Now I don't have the original Drakkar, so I can't say if it smells like it, but I would pretty much imagine this one smells like a, a modern fragrance. It doesn't smell dated at all. It's more like a mixture of like an Azzaro mixed with a little bit of Pasha de Cartier, the EDP version. 
and a hint of like Penhaligans in the background. Maybe something like the tragedy of Lord George, a little soapiness or something in the back. It's quite smooth and actually has a nice bit of warmth to it. I wore this one all day and I never felt like I was projecting too much or it was too loud or too dated. It's actually a nice scent that I totally think you can wear at work. I really like it. And it's, the mood is sort of a, a warm, masculine barbershop fouchere that lasts about seven plus hours with a decent projection for two. Not nearly as big as you would think the sort of short-lived opening would suggest because the opening is, is much greater, much more powerful, but it doesn't last very long. So initially when you spray this, you think it's going to be a powerhouse fragrance. It actually isn't. As like I said, the opening is quite short-lived and it comes in pretty quickly. The price of this one is also right on par. I mean, when you buy it in the store, it's a little bit more, but it's already being sold at the retailers online and you can get this one for a really good price. And I think it's right on par with what this fragrance delivers. I really think that this one is a great addition to the Drakkar line for 2022. It's modernized enough where you can wear it today. It doesn't smell dated at all. It's not too loud and seven hours, like I said, with a decent projection for the first two hours. A little bit more on the warm, cozy side. Actually a really nice release from Drakkar. Next time you're in the store, go ahead and get yourself a whiff and let me know how it moved you. Whether you think that this fragrance is going to succeed. I'm Peter from Centrail. I really enjoyed spending time with you. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is a good time to do it. And remember, if you got anything out of this video at all, do leave it a like so I know what you want to see in the future. I want to thank you in advance. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and I will talk to you soon. Until then, Centrail.